Minister Charlie, you're very welcome in here. This is our first time to get to address you, and I wish you every success in your ministerial post. I welcome the opportunity to speak in favour of the motion uh, to provide state funding to Horse Racing Ireland and Greyhound uh, Racing Ireland in 2021. Horse racing, uh, the thoroughbred industry and greyhound racing are vibrant and important parts of the culture and the economy of this country, particularly the rural economy and rural life. We have a long and proud tradition of horse racing in Ireland. Indeed, steeplechase began in Ireland in 1752 in Cork. Uh, horse racing in Bellustown in County Meath, which I'm a, a member of that, a volunteer member of that committee, took place in 1726. And the money that we get from Horse Racing Ireland every year is constantly improving the facilities there with regard to animal welfare. So we welcome that. Horse racing uh, provides direct and indirect employment of, um, of some 29,000 people and generates 1.9 billion euro annually for the economy. Ireland is the third biggest producer of thoroughbred foals in the world and we attract significant interest and investment globally as a result of our high standing in this sector. Significant employment and economic benefit is derived from greyhound racing too. Now the, grey, the Green Party might be more appropriately called the Grey Party. They seem to be hell-bent on draining rural life out of every bit of colour and human vibrancy. Uh, they killed off, they tried to, I should say, kill off the hunt in this country and now they seem to want to kill off the greyhound racing too. What is next on the list? Are we going to be banned from fishing in our lakes and rivers? Nobody supports cruelty to animals and of course I want I support any reasonable measures to ensure animal welfare. It's interesting, uh, some of the members here today speaking about animal cruelty and animal welfare and talking about the 6,000 dogs that are killed each year, yet they show no compassion or remorse for the 6,600 babies that are killed and funded by the HSE every year. So, so, sorry, this is the, so I, I didn't interrupt you, uh, Senator Lynn. Without, I think it's very unfair if you to do that. Okay, I, I, find their, I, I find it astonishing, astonishing that they, they would support uh, uh, something, like, uh, something like this and bring it in. Uh, I'm really, really astonished by it. Not only are some members of this House trying to de depopulate us as a population with abortion, they now want to, to target breeders to be curtailed on how many pups they breed as well. At the same time as supporting any reasonable measure uh, to guarantee animal welfare, I think it's important to acknowledge the fact that the overwhelming majority of farmers, horse and dog breeders love their animals and care for them properly. I believe it is right to support these important industries that are part of our culture and our history. They provide entertainment, employment and economic benefit. So I'm quite happy to support this measure today. Thank you.